Referee is set to drop the puck on this one. Rosters are ready alongside Ray Burrow. I'm James Sabolski, ready to call all the action in this one. Teams look ready to go, as does the official. Let's bring it on. The dogs start with possession as we are now underway. Uncle Larry's got it in the defensive zone. The dogs take it along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Fronson. Here they come, three of them. Moves it quickly over to Ovechkin. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Right up the gut. Here they go. Puck grabbed by Ovechkin. Pokes it away in his own end. Well, he's calling him out now. Penalty coming up. Walker's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Here's a first look at the power play. Way too many of five-minute power plays just kind of fade into the ether. There's not enough urgency. They don't attack like they normally would on a two-minute power play. Now a quick pass to King. Couldn't make that one happen. Moves the puck over to Ovechkin. Moves it to Champion. With the blast! And that's blocked! Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The game is still scoreless. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. He scores! Pretty bold play to get out and score a shorthanded goal. You really push the other team backwards with this marker. Wow, did he hammer that. Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him and still goes in. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. The dogs get a hold of it. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. All alone! Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break, and it's in the net. Walker's won the draw here in the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Sends it quickly to Larkin. Oh, smart heads up Reed. Quick feed to Walker. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he slides it quickly to Champion. Handles it along the blue line. Off his stick. Stops him cold. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Takes control of the puck. Takes the feed. And that one's broken up. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. California's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Ovechkin. Slides the puck over. Here's a blast! And that one's broken up! Great block yeah, yeah, there! Yeah, yeah, yeah. A second to the back of the net for the goal! That yeah, breaks this tie, James. You know when these teams get locked up tight, sometimes it stays that way a long time. California's been preaching better starts. They've got that with a one-goal lead, Ray. They've got the lead. It's in the first period. There's lots of game left, but their coaches are talking about staying on the front foot to be aggressive. The Firebirds have it behind the cage. Ovechkin's got it into offensive territory. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. The Firebirds have had way more chances offensively. And as a result, they're leading in this one. 
Well, the man advantage unit might welcome being back at even strength after giving up a shorthanded goal on that power play. They're not going to be too thrilled when they get a look at the film on that power play. Ineffective and, maybe more importantly, they give up the shorthanded goal. The Firebirds are off to the box. Interference the call. You can slow a player down, but it can't be that obvious. He gets involved in his lane of skating, and interference will be the call. Nice speed as center moves up ahead now and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Taken by Larkin. With the blast, turns it aside. Lil Burns simply going to slow it down here. Ray, do you like the strategy? I do, but he hasn't touched the puck much this period, James, so you get to handle it a little bit here and maybe a little nervous, so you jump on it and get to reset. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Taken along the wall by Larkin. Takes the feed at the point. Puck exits the zone. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Firebirds penalty killers come up huge. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. A stick between the player's feet. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Here's another power play for them, James. They've already scored on the power play tonight, so they must have some pretty good feel for it. They also have to be aware the penalty killers will adjust. They will have to, too. And that's broken up. California's got the puck along the wall. Made that stop. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Firebirds have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And a successful clearing attempt. Turn that chance aside. And now he passes up to Ovechkin and tries to make a diagonal pass to King. A little dipsy doodle, and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. California's got a hold of it along the wall. Uncle Larry's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. Quick pass to Ovechkin. Moves around along the half wall. Ovechkin's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. With a one-timer. Well, he scores! Scores! The captain delivers! Terrific work. They stayed on the forecheck even after they had the initial couple of shots. They work to get the puck back. Eventually, they break them down and score a goal. California's offense has been on fire to start this one and still lots of time left in the first. Couldn't complete the play. And that pass goes awry. Tries to get the puck to Ronick. Big time play right there. And the defenders come up with the puck. With possession along the wall. Ovechkin's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Here comes the sentence. He's going off for tripping, Ray. Reaching in for the puck and he gets his stick caught in their feet. California's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Lots of times you practice the power play, it looks great in practice. Then you get it into the game and it looks terrible. That's not been the case. They've been outstanding with the man advantage tonight. Edmonton's got the puck shorthanded. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Larkin's got it on the offensive end. Hammers a shot, and he comes up with it. Moves it quickly over to King. No one home on that play. Now he slides it up to Ovechkin. Moves the puck to Walker. Well, the power play melts away. They don't get anything on it. I don't think it's particularly important because they've got such a nice lead here. They just want to run the clock out. Sends it over. 
Here's a chance right in front. Gets a paddle on it to make the save. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Nothing doing on that. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Well, there's the end of the first period of play. A blowout on the ice. But I'll tell you what, from this broadcast booth vantage point, I'm still having fun. I know Ferraro's still having a good time down at ice level as well. breather here in this first intermission we'll do the same and get ready for period number two Period number two is about to get underway. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? The dogs don't have to look very hard to figure out why they're behind in this game. They never have the puck. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Uncle Larry's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Pretty easy call for the referee to make as you're fishing around for the puck. He's focused in on the play, and when the player goes down, his hand will go up. They get it out of the defensive end. Excellent stick work on the play. Tangles him up with the stick, and the officials are all over it. Puck picked up by Larkin. Let's see the call here. Walker's getting two for hooking. So quickly into position, now that the hooking penalty. Another power play opportunity coming up here as they set up at the faceoff. I love how four-on-four four play has evolved. It used to be race up the ice and shoot the puck. Now teams and players are way more comfortable holding the puck and waiting for the play to develop. And they fail to go tape to tape. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. California has been the more aggressive team offensively. Look at the shot clock and just look at the score. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. The dogs scoop it up along the boards. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. There's the whistle icing the call. California's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Larkins won a big draw on their own end. You can wheel the breakout now once you win that draw. Passes the puck over to Ovechkin. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. The Dogs get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. I can't imagine the coaches are going to be very happy with that. This is a really good piece of video to show the players, though, because they show them great. You had it in the zone, but there was no danger generated on that power play. Comes up with the stop. Booz has to be so disappointed with the way this night's gone, James. One of the... where he's just struggled with puck control. He hasn't handled rebounds very well. 
And as a result, he and the guys in front of him trail by a couple. California's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck. Sends a pass over. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Takes the bump, but still hangs on to the puck. California's got it across the line. Takes a shot, makes the save. Yager's stick handling in his own zone. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it across. And that's picked off in front. And now he moves it quickly to Ovechkin. Right in the slot. And that one's blocked. And he denied that opportunity. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. California's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Walker's won the draw. Moves it to King. Here's a chance right in the slot. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, the Firebirds are giving their fans a lot to cheer about tonight as they lead it 4-1. Oh, head hunting there. I think he did. Man, that thing is way over top of the net. The dogs get a hold of the puck along the boards. He might have a step here. All alone. Decides to think about it. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. Fronson's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Trying to slow the opponent down, and he gets burned for it. Interference is the call. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, you can get a lot of power play goals in a game, and it can just suck the life out of your team if you don't get anything done. Not for them. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. Larkin's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Funny coach. He scores! Add that power play goal to the earlier one. They've really done well with the extra man here. California's widened the gap yet again tonight, Ray. How far can you widen a gap? Because they keep adding on to it. It seems like shift by shift. From the neutral zone now. Here's a pass down low. Huge steal in his own end. Cuts into the paint and makes the routine save. Quick feed to Ovechkin. Slides the puck across to Walker. He's got a step. And it kind of falls apart. I thought he was clean in, and then you're right. It falls apart. He gets nothing for that. California's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Answered the call there. Crunches him into the boards. And that one's turned away. Cruz makes the save and gets the puck into the corner very efficiently. Uncle Larry's taking it from his own end. Even though they don't get one on the power play here, they still have a comfortable lead. The one thing you don't want to do is give up a shorthanded goal. Maybe that sparks the other team a little bit. Takes it into the slot, and he rings the post. California's been all over them tonight. They're comfortably in front, and while they don't get a bounce there, they don't need it. Takes the pass in the corner. Play blown dead. Penalty coming up here. And tripping looks to be the call, Ray. Really a frustrating penalty to take because you're just fishing for the puck. You get your stick in the wrong spot. The guy goes down and you're toast every time. Another chance here on the man advantage. They've zipped the puck around pretty nicely on their previous power plays and they've been rewarded for their fine work. The key is to stay sharp. Don't think it's just going to happen for you. And manages to clear the zone. Slides the puck across to Ronick. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Quick pass to Champion. And that one's broken up. The Dogs move the puck in the defensive zone. Gets it out of his own end. And now he angles it across to Ovechkin. 
And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Stones him on the one-timer. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, and down he goes on the ice. Oh, he thought there was room. Obviously, there was none. The Firebirds can't convert to the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, there goes another power play, James. Same script, same result. No goal for them on many power plays tonight. Made the stop on that play. And nothing to it with the goaltender there. Ah, uh, that's really good strength by the goaltender as they quickly get over to the side of the net, right tucked up against the post to make the save. Here he is, wrists it on net, puts it wide. I know he's looking for the perfect shot. He's going to be disappointed that he didn't get it on the cage. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? Edmonton's first two periods have been marred by turnovers. Every time it looks like they're going to get something going, they burp up another one. They don't have the puck much, and they're behind in the game. The Dogs gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck over to Uncle Larry. Here they are on the attack. Slides it across. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Here's a short pass to Walker. Couldn't complete the play. Slides it over to Fronson. And now he moves it to Cappy. The Firebirds have it against the wall. Edmonton's got it from behind the net. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. There's the whistle icing the call. The Firebirds have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. Offense is zone face-off, and he wins the draw. That was an important face-off, James. Now they got an offensive zone possession. Pass across to King. Uses the force on that hit. Takes the feed. Moves it quickly over to Fronson. Fails to find the open man. Champion's got it now deep inside his own end. Moves it to Ovechkin. Great poke check on the reach. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. The Dogs will play it in their own end. Drives to the paint. California's got a hold of it against the wall. Dished on over to King. That pass goes a little sideways. Slides the pass over to Champion. Quick feet, and he's going after him here. Franzen's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Larkin's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Champion's going off to the box for two minutes. Played with fire. He got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the pocket. Sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down and he's got to go to the box. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Hey, it looks great. Great shot. Great pass. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. The Firebirds have it now. And he slides it quickly to Ovechkin. 
Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. And it's a quick pass to Uncle Larry. Tees it up! Oh, just inches wide. Doesn't miss it by much, James. That's a really good shot, but he's got to get it on the net. Quick pass to Walker. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Turns him away! California's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Ronix moving the puck through his own zone. That pass doesn't go. Oh, great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. California's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. From the left wing, takes the feed. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Strong defensive effort. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. Puck scooped up by Ronick. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Denies of in front. Oh, and another big stop. Stop one, stop two. The goalie makes a couple of excellent saves. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Oh, good Take try there, bud. Stop gets a blocker on it. There's another stop. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. Along the half wall with the puck. And that goes off the post and out. California's lead is so solid, that one's not going to matter much, I don't think. I know if I were shooting it, though, James, I would have wanted it to go in. Late goings of this period. The Firebirds lead it by a score of 5-1. Their offense came to play in a big way tonight. Move to the middle on the one-timer. Stones him on the play. The Firebirds are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. Larkins won the faceoff. Nice pass. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Can't find his man. And he regains control of the puck. And now it's over to Ovechkin. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. And now it's grabbed by Larkin. And here's the pass to Fronson. Unable to reach that one. Moves the puck. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Here's a short pass to Fronson. The Firebirds look to start the transition game. Receives the pass. Four out. California's luck isn't very good there. Terrific shot. Delivered quickly, but it hits the crossbar and stays out. The Firebirds gain control of the puck against the wall. Great positioning in the defensive end. Here he comes in on a breakaway. Whoa. He scores! Oh, what a beautiful goal! He broke away up from the pack. Now he's on the breakaway, and he shows great confidence to finish this off. The Firebirds lead it late in this third period. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Feeds the puck to Ronick. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Forces the turnover. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Puck and stirring the puck. Yeah, a little friction, and all of a sudden, guys are getting heated. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Break away! What a great feeling to get three goals in a game. Doing it on the road is a, is a real nice trick. Looked like the goalie was expecting a deke. He got back a little deep in the net, and the puck beats him with the shot. California's tension's rising. Didn't take much to get this heated up. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game.
California's offense really seemed to push the pace there tonight, Ray. From your uh, from your vantage point down at ice level, what'd you see? Well, they never spent any time in their zone. They'd go back for it, quickly out of their zone, then up the ice. They had the puck, it seemed, way more than half the game.